One of my favourite things to create inside Canva is motion animations. There are just so many possibilities that I can show you and today I'm going to show you another one. You guys have been loving this one when I shared it on TikTok and Instagram. So right now I'm going to show you how to create this green smoothie recipe animation. Let's go. If we haven't yet met, I'm Jules, your designer in your pocket, and I do love to share everything that you can do inside the camera platform. As a professional designer, I love it and I am using it more and more and more. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you how I create this really quite simple animation, but really effective and really lovely, especially if you have recipes you want to share or you just want to know how to get something to pop out behind something that looks like a flat image. And what I'm going to do is start off with the basics of this um, animation to work. I've already pre-designed the different ingredients list but I'll show you quickly how I did um, each one. First of all I wanted to start with a basic shape and I choose the square with the rounded edges. Corner rounding here so we can make it now so it's a bit less which I like to do. I, I sometimes feel that the corner rounding is a bit too chunky so I reduce that down to about 25 and we can also add a little border weight here. Again I just like to make it ever so slight. Two points is enough but it just helps give a little bit more emphasis into the design when sometimes it can be a little bit hidden. And for the ingredients what we just want to do is ensure that whatever style we choose so I just start off with a basic search and I'll start off with green apple and I click on the graphics one and whatever style I choose whether it's more um, illustrated or it's got a kind of watercolour effect I make sure I choose the same style of elements for the rest of the ingredients just so it gives the design a really cohesive and consistent look. So for example if we chose this one this is a nice watercolour effect I would make sure that I typed in my search my coconut watercolour illustration just so I got them all looking very similar. And then for the text I have used Bobby Jones Soft for our text which I just placed inside and again what we're doing here is we're just making sure that each box is the same size. For our text at the top the way I got this effect is I went into effects and I added a background um, box to it. You can change the colour of the background box here. If we just select on this little box we can change all the different colours and obviously I've made it kind of bright green. We can also go into the text colour by clicking on the A and we can change it to dark if we want um, in any colour we wish but I, I wanted to make it the white so it's a bit different from the green text. We have our basics, we have our ingredients, now what we need to do is find a really nice image that is going to go well with this design and the secret with the images is we need to find something that is a front facing so that it's big enough um, in size either a glass or the bottle to hide the ingredients behind it and um, so things like the um, aerial view like bird's eye view ones wouldn't really work so I select one where I've got the full size of the bottle that I can enlarge and make pretty big so if I just resize like so and make sure that it's not going to impose on the title of the graphic but at the same time we've got enough room for the ingredients and what we can then do you can see we've still got some of the text sticking out there but if we go to position and we go to layers we can move the image so that it sits down the bottom layer right before the background and if you wish to select all of the ingredients at the same time if you drag your arrow just off of the artboard and hold down your mouse and drag across the graphic it selects all of the to select and then we can easily select them all in one go and what I'm going to do is I need to make sure that I'm not going to interfere with the little kind of watercress um, parts. 
So I'm going, but at the same time, I don't want the top part of the graphic to stick out the side of the bottle. So if I just place them about here, and then I'm going to copy and paste the image, and this time I'm going to go to Edit Photo and Background Remover, because all I want to be left with is just the bottle, as you can see. So I'm just going to crop in the edges there because I don't need that part and make sure that it's sitting exactly on top of the other one and if I go to layers so go to position and layers you'll now see that the bottle is sitting on the top layer and I have everything sitting underneath because with the using the match and move transition we have to make sure whatever we want to move and look like it's moving seamlessly has to be on the first graphic. But before we go to the second graphic, what we want to do is add a little animation to the title text. So on here, um, and I'm going to, now what you'll find is the image of the bottle is sitting on top of the text so we can't select easily. So I'm just going to drag that down the crop so that I can now select the text and if we go up to animate and with delicious I want to go down to pop and I want it to just pop on enter so I don't want it to disappear at the end of this um, page and I'm going to just slow it down slightly and then for a green smoothie I'm going to make this burst on um, and I'm going to just again have that on enter and I'm going to make this a wee bit faster like so and then lastly recipe is going to be baseline because I want it to appear like it's moving up the way and again just on entry and I'll slow that down a bit so that it doesn't come in quite so quick so now that we've added the animation to the titles we're going to click the three dots and we're going to duplicate and then when we duplicate, we are, before we forget, I'm going to select them all and we're going to remove the animations. And now what we want to do is we want to start creating the effect of the sliders with the ingredients coming out from behind the bottle. So we're going to go up to position and we can just for now select the bottle to sit behind so that we can see clearly the ingredients and one by one I am going to just drag across the um, green box sliders and I want to do this with each one and I want them to come out and reach the same point so they're all aligned so when I see them lining up with the, the red outline like so And then we can, there's two ways, you can either one by one hold down your shift key and start clicking on the elements you want to move, like so. Or we can go into our layers and I can, if I move that out the way so it doesn't get away, I can select all the layers I want to move at the one time and then just slide across. And if you look in closely, you can see that actually, if I move this bottle in front again, then it's going to sit on top of parts of the banana and apple. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to slide everything out a bit further so we can just nudge things along slightly more. And then again, I'll go back in and do what I did before. If I just start from the avocado and scroll down to make sure I've got all the text and all the different ingredients, then I can easily select everything all at the one time and move across. And now you can see everything sits in front of the bottle okay. Now we don't need that page. And five seconds is going to be too long, so we'll reduce that down to about 1.5 and we'll just reduce this one down 
to about two and now we're going to add the transition so if you click between the two frames and click add a transition and it's going to be match and move and you can see it's already like coming out but I want to slow down the transition slightly so I'm just going to move the we move the arrow back to the start you can see it slides in and if we zoom out we can now also see that transition happening as well and the animation of the title text all appearing and then a transition happens yeah so this is it now we have our title text animated and appearing in and then we have the moving animation with the ingredients popping out behind the green smoothie bottle even though you think it's originally just a flat image it actually has that lovely bit of animation added to it I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. I do have a more in-depth green smoothie recipe tutorial available in my new course but I do also share the actual template that I have used as well for as well as some other tutorials in there too all about what just exactly you can create inside Canva using motion animation. If you found this video useful then do make sure to like, comment and I would love you to subscribe. I am growing my channel and please keep watching for the next video if you would love to see more Canva tips and tricks because I'm your designer in your pocket helping you create kick-ass graphics even if you're not a pro.